Hello there, everybody. Uh, today, we are going to be checking out um, a new game. Uh, it's always an exciting day when we get to do that. Um, and uh, I guess that's with the caveat that uh, we're, we're only checking out the prologue of a game. Um, I saw this week a couple of uh, other survival game YouTubers that I enjoy watching uh, playing uh, an, a new survival game called Occupy Mars. Um, and, uh, I was intrigued. Um, I'd been keeping track of quite a few upcoming survival games, and I think this one had slipped past my radar. And, uh, I, uh, I saw that it at least had kind of a demo in the form of a prologue. Uh, and so I figured we would give that a bit of a, um, a trial run here. And if we enjoy that, maybe this will be... Uh, something we try to throw in a bit of our rotation. As a member of Alpha Base, one of the first successful Mars colonies, you have been sent to Remote Research Station, RRS, located inside the Gale Crater. Your task is to collect data and resources. As easy as it seems to be, you have... To be, you have to be careful of the incoming dust storm. With limited resources you have, you need to think in order to survive. Life support systems active. Oxygen Let's set. give it a go. External. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Collect the rock. Use the crane to collect the rock. We've got a lot of information here on our screen already. Um... Let's see, let's see. Uh, brain control tab. Okay. Um, oh man, there's a lot of controls with that. Um, and then here is just our actual rover controls. Okay. So, we've got our suit oxygen, our exterior oxygen, health, stamina, hunger, hydration, um, some other stats, our quests there at the bottom, good to know, okay. So, we, it looks like we can just kind of drive around with normal keys here, ooh, and then we've got like a, a hot bar with some tools, it looks like. Alright, so if I just have this rock right ahead of me. Uh, wait, what's change camera do? Whoa! We can look on top of our rover. That's kind of fun. Uh, so yeah, I think this should be alright. Uh, so if we go over to our crane controls. Um... We want to do, uh, I don't know what transport mode is, but we're trying it. Progress did something. Um, okay. Extend arm is left shift plus A or D. Arm angle is left shift plus W, S. So extend is left and right. Angle is forward back. Auto grab is E, but that seems like boring. Um, let's do crane cam. Oh, so transport mode put the crane away. Okay, and I can just move my mouse as well. Uh, wait, where'd the rock go? That's at the back of our vehicle. Uh, wait, extend arm. Ah, shift. Oh, cause right, right, right. We're we're wanting to extend the arm. And we may be, ooh, okay, uh, wait, let's see, I think we're too, 
we're not we're not quite in the right spot here. I think we maybe want to pull up next to the rock. Oh gosh, we're driving on the rock. I'm gonna try to do this in first person mode, at least for this first one, just because I think that for immersion that's more fun. Okay, so here's our rock. Holding shift. Let's uh there we go. Oh gosh. Our angle can go lower. Alright. How do I grab? Left mouse. Oh. Awkward. Um, extend arm. Uh. Oh, I hit E by accident for auto grab. Whatever. We, we kind of had it. Manually ourselves. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, test your grinder. Um, use grinder on the corridor piece. I think we don't want to be here. Yeah, okay. We're going... We're going over here. So... Uh... Grinder. Um... I'm guessing that's one of my tools down below. Uh, you know what? I think we might need to do some tutorials here. Ah, tester grinder. Um, a corridor piece so far from the rest of the buildings. Um, I wonder what could have placed it here. Uh, I guess no one would mind if I took this thing apart and gathered the resources. Um, okay, use grinder. So, that still doesn't answer what the grinder is. No, that's not what I want to wait. Exit. Oxygen set. Ah! Oxygen set. Suit. That's what I wanted to try. There we go, we're out of our vehicle. So, grinder looks to me kind of like number four here. Now we're figuring things out. Whoa, that's bright. Okay, we got a bunch of loose stuff. Dehydration detected. Yep, I detect that as well. Um, all right. Oxygen set. Let's let's get External. in here. Um, actually, wait. If I get out, let's uh, to use some of our water. Wait, that's a potato. Uh... What? What does this potato thing do? Is this a potato gun? I'm very confused as to what a potato does. Uh... That's the power thing. Okay. Oh, that's our charger. Um, it's kind of some kind of antenna. It's like a blowtorch. Uh, water detection. That's kind of cool. Um, do we not have any water on us? Because that's not fantastic. Um... I was really hoping that our potato gun was... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! I pulled up inventory. Tutorials! Ah, here we go. 
You can replenish your water directly from a well. You can refill oxygen uh, using a Sabadier re reactor or a scrubber. Um, a bunch of resources can be found in the heavy rovers compartment above the bed. All right, open water. One water bottle. Um, okay. Inventory. Water. Uh, consume. Haha! -ha! Much better. Uh, do we have any kind of food? What is this? A seed magazine! Okay, a potato seed magazine for a planting tool. Now I get it. So there's our grinder, jackhammer, a blowtorch, and a spectral detector. We've also got a water and gas cable, a small pipe, electronics, aluminum plate, cable, fire extinguisher, that seems like a very good thing to have, a solar cell, a small engine, a planting tool, processed food, and some screws. All right, well, let's go ahead and eat some food because we were also getting hungry and maybe we need to eat a bit more of that as well. All right, our stats are looking a bit better now. Um, now let's go get this other rock over here. We, we, we know what we're doing. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's use our, um, let's use our crane. This might be too big. Um, yeah, cause like I can't even auto grab that. Okay. Um, let's try maybe jackhammering Oxygen set. this Soon. rock a little bit. That was, was that this? Yes, use the jackhammer to break down the large ore. That's even the task, I just wasn't reading our objective. Whoa! Uh, do I need to break it down more? Let's try it. Alright, so we're gonna get a lot of good stuff from all of this. Yeah! Wow, I'm on top of it. Um, all right, maybe that's the last piece right here. Uh, let's give that a shot at least. That's that's quite a bit, quite a bit of good stuff. Um, all right, can I close the door? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's. How do I? How do Oxygen I use this again? Set. There we go. External. Okay. Uh, crane camera, please. Uh, oh gosh. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally did auto load. Um, oh, process in the shredder. I guess I can't, uh, pick up any more right now. That's fine. We'll come back for it. Don't flip the rover. That seems like that would be a very bad thing to do. All right. So let's drive right up here. And stop. Unload. Okay, to build a structure, first make sure to print all the necessary components and move them to your inventory. Uh, then open your tablet and select the structure from the build tab, place it on the ground, and then use a blowtorch to build it. Okay. Uh, we want to print battery packs, so we need to use the shredder's screen to print battery components. Uh, oxygen set. The shredder is what we just did, so that's out here. Um, all right, 
So, we need to make batteries. Let's just search it. There we go. Battery pack. Um, Alright, well, we can only make one, so let's make it. Uh, to build a structure, first make sure to print all the necessary components and then add... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I'm just have it select from the build and place it on the ground and then you say blow to the first two buildings. Oh, okay, so it's, it's making all of these different things. Okay, I thought it was saying we had all of those random things. But no, it's making like 20 screws and then three electronics. I get it. So now in our inventory, we're gonna have, oh no, printing container, it's got those things. So it'll have all of that. That's now done. Um, whoops, move. Uh, nope, I want all of that in my inventory. Um, now I need my blowtorch. And we're gonna run over somewhere. Probably makes sense for this to be over here. I have no idea what our actual goal with this is, but here's a bunch of solar panels. Um, okay, uh, use, no. I want to build electricity battery pack build. Um, uh, okay, I don't know. Oops. Oxygen Cancel. low. Oh, my oxygen's low? That's bad. Uh, I didn't really mean to place that one, but that's okay. We'll get our blowtorch out and we'll at least build this one. I was hoping that you could like rotate it or something. And I bet you can because I think that this is that. Like this is a battery pack? Yeah, this is a battery pack. So you probably can rotate it. I just don't know how. Um, so that's a transformer. Are you some kind of an oxygen machine? That's a well. Oxygen tank. Uh, oh, I didn't really mean to burn the oxygen tank. There's no more oxygen. That's a bad deal. Um... Is there anything I can do about that? Um... Well, I can fill my water bottle. Um... But the lack of oxygen is concerning. Uh, oh, it only has 5 out of 10. Alright, well, let's run back to our rover. Oxygen and, low. yeah, I know, I'm dying a little bit. Our rover will save us. Oxygen set. External. So, the suit oxygen's still really bad. If I do that, though, and in our inventory, we should have oxygen somewhere, right? Um... There we go. Oh, it has the big oxygen. I'm... <laughs> Not always the smartest there. Uh, there we go. Suit oxygen is full. Oxygen set. Suit. Alright, so can we go in this base at all? Um, 
An airlock is one of the most basic structures you can build on Mars. Apart from functioning as a door, it isolates the buildings from the outside. Uh, I should always use two airlocks to avoid depressurization. You can also open them manually, but mind the pressure change to monitor pressure inside. Check the control panel. Um, ah, control panel. Yeah. Pressure in, pressure out. Um, oh, okay. Well, I didn't exactly want to do that. Can I not close it? I want to close it. I want to go in. Power supply inactive. I needed to read more. Um, okay, sorry, what am I supposed to do? Find a tablet with geothermal data, grow 10 potatoes, charge the heavy rover, gather 200 iron, and supply electricity. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, so we've got cables going to all of these places. Uh, open socket. Can I... Is this making a plug? No. Okay. Um, build. Resources. Wait. Battery, transformer, solar panel, solar panel. Well, oxygen suture scrubber, airlocks. Um, how do I just have a plug? Oh, a plug! So I have a cable, and I use the cable. So I can drag that cable, but I can't do that one. Can I drag it from here? No power. I want to plug it in. Ooh. No, I want to put that circuit board back. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's. That's cool. Significant temperature drop in an hour it sounds bad. Um, so how do I. How do I use you? Wait, if I put that here, aha! Okay, I just wasn't thinking. Connect plug, okay, okay, okay. And then, connect plug. Six, connect plug. Oh, 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 drag the cable, and then I wanna, No, no, no. We... Uh, I wanna drop it. Oh, I drop it. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Okay, that's empty. And connect the pl- No! Can it not- Is it like too short? Why, why are we grumpy about this? I think it literally might be too short. All right, well, I'm getting very cold. Can we go hide in our rover and just sleep? All right, let's get in. Close that up, external. and then let's uh, let's sleep. Uh, I don't have enough water for that. Um, cool. There's some water. Inventory. We're gonna drink some water, and we are going to eat some food. 
Now we're going to sleep. I like that animation. That's pretty cool. Is it still too cold? I think we might be all right. Uh, no, nope. low temperature warning. Okay. Let's just get back inside. Maybe. Oxygen set. External. Uh. Let's go. Do some more rovery things. Uh, let's go get that other iron that we, like, mined up, but didn't collect. So, give me my crane cam. Okay, we c I, c I will figure this out. Nope, up, and in, and release. Aha, and out. And we need to shift a little bit. And back to crane cam. Yeah, ooh, what's that? Oh, I auto-loaded. No, we're not auto-loading. We're doing this the old-fashioned manual way. Like the real Martians did. Alright, we are almost full. So, we can probably start heading back here in just a second. Yeah, let's go ahead and leave it at that. I don't want to make this, like, too unmanageable, you know? Alright, we will unload. And this might take a while, because we have a lot more stuff this time. So, let's hop out of there, Oxygen and, set. uh... Suit. Oh, cool, so we can actually see all this stuff going down in here. Nice! Okay, that's cool. Um, okay. I need to plant and grow potatoes, charge the heavy rover, gather a bunch of iron in the container. I mean, I feel like I've gathered a bunch of iron. I don't know exactly what gathering it in the container means. Um, but supplying electricity is really the thing I would like to do. Um, and I want to figure out why I can't plug this stuff in. So if I plug that, I'm dragging this. So, does this have, like, a limit? No, that does not seem to have a limit. Connect. Why do you spark out? That's my question. Unless this is, like, one side's input, one side's output. Yeah, wait. Okay. Medium, medium, solar panel, battery pack as input? I want that to be output. Unless these are like lining up with each other somehow. Hold on, are we gonna have to play follow the cables? So if the, the main building is in three, Where, where are you going? Okay, so that's from our battery. I'm gonna leave this over here. We're gonna sort the cables a little bit. Uh, can I drop the cable? There we go. Ah, input. Output. It's labeled. Okay. I follow. So this should be labeled somewhere. Probably. Um.
Transform, well, inputs on that side and outputs on that side. So, if I'm wanting to, like, charge up a battery, I could connect a plug. to there and that's going to charge this battery up the output is always limited to current battery charge so the capacity is currently at zero now it's at 4.7 okay so now we are charging the battery up This one is not charged. Excellent, I follow now. Um, okay. So, what I think I want to do, and maybe I don't know what I'm doing. Um, where are you getting your charge? Your output is here. Your input is here. Oh gosh, your input is there, so this is charging this battery, which is going over to this device. Um, okay, so the shredder is the batteries is powering that okay 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 so why do we have a battery input battery pack solar 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 is it is it number one that it thinks is a battery pack? No, that's the solar. Did you? No, that's a solar. Oh gosh, we're playing one of those, those games. Wait, okay. Solar panel. Goes to number two. Or three. Is that solar panel? Number four. Is that solar panel? Number one. Is that solar panel? I feel like it should be one, two, three, four solar panels as the inputs. So. How are we getting a battery pack as an input? That is my question. Uh, yeah, number one, it thinks, is a battery pack. So, let me unplug that for a second. And we're gonna drop that. Yeah, so that was what it thought was a battery. So, you... Why do you think you're a battery? You're definitely a solar panel. Now do you think you're a solar panel? Yeah, okay. So it was just glitching. All right, so we're inputting solar panels. We're outputting to a battery, to a battery, to a thingy, and a thingy. What is number three? Number three is Big Dome. Uh, needs power. We're only getting 6.3 out of 13.5. And we need, okay, so we need an oxygen plug and we've got the water plug. 
and then cable number four. We're going all the way. I'm finally getting it, guys. Number four. This is another battery, I think. No, this is a. This is a. This is a thing. Um. What are you? You are the well. Um, can I change your production amounts? I mean, I can fill my water bottle. Uh, oh! Do I have a empty bottle? Uh, water bottle. I don't think I have any regular bottles um cool okay well that's nice uh, so we can get more water um oxygen production though needs to go up uh and that's because the well needs more power so do we just need to adjust our uh, our energy outputs? Um, so the this station, I think it said needs twenty five kilowatts, right? Oh, oh, I missed. I think it where did I where did I see that? Why did I think that was the Oh structure uses Oxygen 25. Work. It's in my bottom right. I actually am really liking how like technical this is. It's such a different vibe of wait, we don't we don't need to go all the way over here. We've got an oxygen tank right there. Um it's just such a different vibe from our normal survival games. Um Okay, so that needs 25, that is hooked up to a battery, and our battery, uh, which battery is this? This is battery 2, right? You are battery 2. Our new battery is battery 1. Um... So you need 25. So we need 25 there. Uh, the main base needed what? 13? Uh, I think we're going to change it so that the battery powers the main base. So that the main base always has power. Um, so the battery needs like 13. But just to make sure that the battery's all good, we can even keep that at 20. I don't remember what that thing is. Um, but the this needed more power. So we can bump that up to 10. Oh, this is the main base. So we can drop that to zero. And then... Uh, number three, that's the main base. Boom, the base is plugged in. So now things are making noise. Oxygen is being produced. Um yeah, so you you are all happy. So we need to make Excellent. So, okay, we can charge our suit with oxygen here now. Um, and we're going to need to get inside here pretty quick. The hab, I think, is being charged. Um, structure uses 13.5. And it's getting that. Um...
Can we get inside here now? Oxygen set. Awesome, we can! So, we don't have oxygen inside. We still need to make an oxygen pipe. But, we've made it inside, everything is powered, right? Yes, that is off of our checklist! Okay. I feel accomplished. Uh, ooh, what is this? This is the carbon dioxide scrubber. Okay. Um, all right. Oxygen production is, uh, oh, sleep deprivation warning. Oh, gosh. Uh, do I have a bed in here? Is this a bed? That looks like a bed to me. Uh, let's sleep, please. Uh, I don't have enough water. Let's drink. Um, drink. And for good measure, let's eat. Alright, sleepy time now. Okay, guys, I'm really liking this. I hope you guys are enjoying this as well. It's such a different vibe, but like... Uh, you know... I don't know if I've actually told you guys this, but like, so I'm actually an engineer, um, so, uh, playing, playing a technical game like this is actually making me very happy. Um, okay, so that's still a sleep thing. I thought maybe the board was gonna be something a little different. Uh, can I not look out the window? That's a little disappointing. Um, so it still seems to be cold in here. What is this thing? Um, is all of that not wanting to be used? That's fine. We've got we've got other stuff to, to do. We'll figure that out later. Um, our suit oxygen's a bit low. Uh, we don't have. Wait, is that an oxygen pipe? That is an oxygen pipe. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, can we leave here? <gasps> Is this a ship? Wait, processed food. Flashlight. Uh, a thing. Um... This is, this is like a nice little... I thought that these were like little mini ships, but these are just like nice little homes. Um, okay, we do really need to go oxygenize ourselves. This isn't the way out, but I'm curious. Oh, we've got a nice little shower and um, the ever important toilet that most of these games just don't really care about. Um, can, I, can I leave again? Uh oh, single capsule. Uh, wait, am I going out the wrong way? It needs power. Interesting. I don't know why that stopped working. Uh, wait, can the scrubber work for me? Um. Not enough oxygen. Um. I don't know how that works. We're gonna... Alright, I'm gonna stop flipping buttons on it. We're, we'll work that out later. Um, right now I just really need to go get power. Or not, not go get power, go get oxygen, and then we'll figure out why we don't have enough power to power everything right now. Uh, but I don't want to suffocate. Uh, nope, that's not where the oxygen is. Uh, that is... Oh, there we go, I can breathe. Yeah, okay, so, let's throw that cable on there. And let's throw that cable on there. Wait, where'd my cable go? Why did it stop? Oxygen. Oh, I stopped dragging it, that's why. Or I didn't start dragging it.
There we go. Um, all right, all right, all right. What's next? Um, I'm still a bit chilly. Let's see what our power problem is. Uh, oh, so our structure is using more power now. Now it's using 18 and we did not allocate 18. Uh, so that's battery t no, it's battery one. I mean, we can, we can ramp up production to, or output to it. Um, I also kind of feel like we should maybe get this battery going to make sure that our production can last through the night, knowing that our solar panels obviously will not work during the night. Uh, that might be part of what our problem is right now. Uh, so, can we make supplies for another battery? Um, let's see. Yeah, we can. Okay. Uh, printing? Yeah, okay, let's let that print up. Okay, so we have a new battery pack now. Uh, let's get our cables going. Let's see if I do this properly this time. Um, so instead of powering this, we are going to power that, and then we're going to put a new power there, and then I want to pick that up, and we're going to put it right there, and... I think we are all good on the well. So let's see now inside here, is everything all powered up again? Oh, uh, we should really put like a ramp or something on this at some point. Needs power. Okay, do you have a separate power port? I don't see one. Um, power. How, how are we doing power? So structure uses 18.32. Uh, okay, this battery should be providing it with power. How are we doing? Um, input. Output is still only 5.3 kilowatts. Um, power in, the output is always limited to current battery charge. So does that mean like right now it would be 8.8? So, structure use, 18.32. I'm still, I'm still trying to work this out. Yeah, okay, so the capacity and the output match. So our input If we can make the input higher, maybe that'll be good? Um... So... This really is only using 
10. And that should only need 25. So how much does that help? Did I adjust the right things? I did not. Battery one, I need to flip those. Dehydration detected. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh gosh! Messing everything up. Okay. Ten for our well. Twenty-five for our rover thingy. And then everything else going to the hab. So how is that looking? It still isn't great. I guess what I don't quite get... Is where the extra, like, 25 kilowatts are going. If... If this isn't, like, charging up anymore, you know, then why is this still low? Unless we're good now? Oxygen set. Okay, maybe we're good now. Um, alright, well let's try to plant the potatoes finally. Um, okay, there's... There's half of my potato crop. Um, well, did I have another planter up here? Or anything. Maybe we can make another potato planter. Yeah, okay, so all this seems to be working all right. Dehydration detected. Uh, oh gosh, yeah, we are very dehydrated, aren't we? Um, what is that? Small plants crate. Uh, oh, open. Oh. Can I grow potatoes in here? We're just going to grow all the potatoes. We are the Martian. Oh, we can just hold it. That's so much easier. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's seal that thing up. And, uh, okay, that's all good. Do we have water access inside? Like, can I drink in the bathroom? Uh, that's a toilet. Can I use the sink? Uh, charge suit. Yes, okay, I can drink from the sink, basically. Um, does the rest of this actually do anything for me? Can I, can I use the toilet? That's an important question. Now that we're not like, you know, in imminent danger. Um, okay, so we've, we've at least planted our potatoes. We've got power everywhere. Um, okay, the oxygen in this room is bad. Let's figure out the oxygen scrubber. This has a certain amount of power. We've got a handful of levers. That right now don't 
do anything. Okay. okay stop. Okay, so I can mess with these while it is stopped. So that would clo that closes everything. If this works like it would in real life. Oh, and we've got more more things over here. Temperature 80. Oh gosh, okay. We need to do something then. So that like changes the power needs and the temperature as I'm flipping all these knobs. I don't, I still don't know what the dials do. So... 10.76.6 versus 10.67.7. So this was 76.6. So the power went up, the temperature went down. So I feel like that down is better. Because we need less power and the temperature is at a more room temperature thing. How about that? Temperature went way up. Okay, so if we're at 10 liters an hour. So that went like way, way down. Okay, so I think the the dials affect our liters per hour. And they each have three settings. Okay, I'm I'm gradually getting here. So, if that's at 10, now we're at 11. So, if we're trying to maximize our oxygen, that can go to 15. Okay, so 10, 11, that would be at 15. And we would be roasting alive, so we would need those open. And it's still definitely too hot. So we would either want these at the middle option, which is still 11.2. Or I can turn that up to the max and put this at the middle option, which is still at 11.2. And it doesn't matter. So I think that that's basically roughly 11.2 is going to be our best bet as far as oxygen production uh, was either way colder. So right now we're at 75 and 8. 86 and 6, it'd be a bit warm. And that's also 86 and 6. So I think that's probably our ideal settings. We'll do start, and we can also... Okay, we can't fill an oxygen bottle right now, but I think that's our best CO2 scrubber settings. So, wait, our exterior oxygen is dropping. Now it's going up. Hopefully all of that is good. We will see. Um, yeah, let's go. Let's go sleep in the nicer room. The plants are withering. Why? Uh, not enough oxygen, I bet. But they would need carbon dioxide. Unless it's these. Uh, yeah, those look withered. Um, what do you need? 
I don't know. Um... Um... Wait, are we... We're out of power. Um... Well, that's not great. So at night time we lose power. Uh, we need better batteries and better energy production. Alright, well, we're dehydrated. The plants are withering. And... We still don't have a great oxygen system in here, and we lose power every night. So, you know, things are very dire, but you know what? We're on another planet, and, uh, all things considered, uh, I think we're doing okay-ish. Um... This is definitely a, uh, a complicated technical game, as far as, um... There's, there's a lot going on with technical systems, and it doesn't really handhold you. Like, there definitely are tutorials. Um, I was, I was definitely trying to figure out a lot of this without them, and maybe I really shouldn't. Uh, maybe I should be learning the growing food. Um. Things like that. Um. And, yeah, so like, all of this kind of stuff. Uh, that, that probably would have been a better way to go. Um, so all of that is, you know, some, some lessons learned here. Um, but yeah, I, I'll be curious to see what you guys, uh, what you guys think about this. Um, is this a game that you would be, uh, interested in seeing me pick up some more, um, and actually pick up the real thing. Again, this was just kind of a, uh, um, right now we're just playing the, the, the free demo, or ultimately. So, uh, if you guys are interested in, in trying this out, uh, you can do so for free on Steam, um, and play the version that I am playing right now. Um, but, uh, at least based on what I've done so far, uh, I am... Uh, wait, can I, can I charge my suit? There we go. Um, I would be, uh, quite interested, I think, in, in picking up the full version. Um, but yeah, I would be curious to see if you guys would be interested in, uh, in us starting up a series here. But yeah, I think that, uh, you know, as our, as our plants wither away, um, I think that we're gonna wrap up our, um, uh, our little demo here of Occupy Mars, um, with that, and, uh, um, I think if we do pick this up again, we probably won't continue on with the demo, but we might, uh, just start up on the full version of the game. Um, since, you know, at some point we'd have to start up on the full version any anyway, so why, you know, kind of, in a sense, waste too much time just on the demo version. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's definitely a, a, a nice kind of change of pace, in a sense, while still sticking into the, um, survival genre. Um... Uh, doing so in a, in a very different feel. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'll be, uh, curious to get you guys' thoughts, so definitely leave some comments, uh, letting me know what you guys think. Um, and, uh, yeah, I will be excited to hear what you have to say. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, also be sure to leave a like, um, and help other people to discover the channel. Um, and uh, otherwise, make sure that you guys are subscribed so that you can keep up with all of our other survival game series that are going on at the moment. Um, we've just hit some uh, uh, some crazy milestones in uh, Grounded and um, are, are having some fun uh, exploring uh, some uh, new main quest uh, islands in Raft right now, nearing the end of the, the main story there. Um, so, uh, those, those two have been our, our primary games at the moment, but have also been, uh, playing around with some stuff like Small Land too. so, um, uh, make sure you guys are subscribed so that you get all of that, and, uh, and who knows, maybe some more, uh, Occupy Mars here in the future as well, because I'm, I definitely enjoy, um, kind of a, a different take on a more of a advanced tech survival game as well, so. 
Um, yeah, with that, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will, uh, I'll see you all very soon with some more survival game content. See ya!